Hello, fifth grade. How are you today? So last class we start learning about unit three, and we're going to continue today uh, talking about places around town. Okay. So today we're going to listen to the story, The Piper of Hamelin, okay? So if you want to listen or if you want to read along with me, you can open your student's book to page 22 and 23. The Piper of Hamelin. This is the town of Hamlin. There's a school. There are stores. And there are rats everywhere. There are rats in the hospital. There's a rat on your hat! At the town hall... I have a magic flute, Mayor. I can make the rats go away. And I promise to give you this bag of money. Look! The rats are following the piper. It's incredible. The rats come out of the movie theater, the supermarket, and the train station. They follow the piper out of town. Are there any rats in Hamelin now? No, there aren't. But sorry, I don't want to give you the money. The Piper is angry with the mayor. I want to teach the mayor a lesson. The Piper plays his magic flute again. <laughs> Look! The children are following the Piper. Stop! Don't go! <laughs> Children! Come back! Mayor, please keep your promise. Give the Piper his money! <laughs> I'm sorry. Here is your money. Thank you for making the rats go away. Hooray! Okay, kids, now let's answer some questions about this story, okay? So the questions are on student's book, page 23. So let's see. Number one. The town of Hamelin is full of bats or rats? So the correct answer is rats. Number two, the mayor promises the piper a bag or box of money. A bag of money. Number three, the rats follow the children or the piper out of the town. The piper. Number four, the mayor doesn't want to give the piper his sandwiches or money. His money. Number five, the piper wants to teach the mayor a lesson or English. A lesson. Number six, in the end, the mayor keeps his money or promise.
his promise. Very good, guys. Now let's complete number six. Read and reflect. This story is an adventure story, a biography, or a fable. What do you think? A fable. Very good. Now the next two questions is personal, okay? So it's your opinion. I think the story is enjoyable, scary, or silly. So circle one option. The next one. I think the mayor is or isn't fair. So the word fair means justo in Portuguese. So do you think the mayor is fair or not? It's your personal opinion. Now the next one. The end of the story is happy or unhappy? So the story finishes in a happy or an unhappy way. So what do you think? It finishes in a happy way. Okay, now I want you to think a little bit, all right? I have two questions for you. So, is it important to keep your promises? So, if you make a promise to someone, is it important to keep? Think about it. And the next question is, what kind of things do you promise to do? So, when you make a promise, what kind of things do you make this promise? So, think about the answers. And I want you to answer them for me during our online lessons, okay? Now I want you to open your activity book to page 22. All right, now for this exercise, you're going to complete the sentences with the missing words. And after that, you're going to write A or B, depending on who said what. So, for example, the sentences that are, were said by the mayor, you're going to write letter A. And the sentences that the piper said, you're going to write letter B. Okay? If it's necessary, you can listen to the story again or you can read it in your student's book. Before we complete exercise number five, let's review some prepositions of place. Okay? So, the first one here, we have in, then we have under, and the next one we have behind, and the last one we have on. So, let's repeat with me, in, under, behind, and on. And to complete the exercise, you're going to use there is, or there are, and the prepositions of place, okay? And for this last one, it's a read and reflect exercise, so it means it's your personal opinion. So, number one, what do you think about fables? Do you like, you love, or you don't like them? Number two, I think it is, or I think it isn't, very important to keep your promises. Number three, my favorite moment of the story is. So, what was your favorite moment of the story? And four, I think the story is. So, you're going to tell me what do you think about this story. Do you think the story was interesting, nice, boring, funny, okay? So, give me an adjective to describe this story. And number seven, you're going to write six words that you learned today while you're reading our story, okay?
Before we finish our lesson today, I'm going to teach you a few more places around town, okay? So, let's listen and repeat with me, okay? Number one, bookstore. Number two, pharmacy. Number three, gym. Number four, school. Number five, restaurant. Number six, pet store. Number seven, bank. Number eight, library. Number nine, airport. Number ten, shopping mall. Number eleven, Park and number twelve, toy store. Okay, now, guys, what is your favorite place in Goiânia? Okay, kids, that's all for today, and I see you next class. Bye bye.